Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial we will see that how can we calculate NDWI normalize difference water index uh, from any satellite imagery. So about normalized difference water index proposed by this in 1996 and uh, it is used to detect and monitor slight change in water content or water bodies. In this index we take a difference of green visible light to NIR. So its formula for Landsat 7, 8 and other satellites first green band and its difference from NIR band. So for, we will use the band 3 and band 5 of Landsat 8 over okay. here. So this is the NIR band, band number 5 and this is green band. So open the raster calculator and uh, select this. Now again use float function and if you want to know that why we are using this float function then you can click on top right corner in this tutorial I have explained this so green according to formula band 3 minus uh, green minus NIR so green subtracted with NIR and divided by float function and again green NIR you can assign an output for your raster data set and then hit OK so this is the resultant NDWI you can change the layer name NDWI and again open the image analysis and I want to focus on this area of interest so just select your NDWI layer and clip it from the view just like this so now let's go to the properties and then symbology so the higher values are actually indicating the water bodies and uh, the negative values are representing the bare land or vegetation features okay so about the ranges of NTWI the positive values are actually the water body and non-water bodies are in negative values by this and uh, the threshold value is proposed to be zero so we will see in this tutorial that what is threshold value so now if I will go to its symbology and classify and I will make only two classes and I want to extract the water body from this just change the curl so just like this all the water bodies and river features are in positive values and other land features are in negative values so you can also add more classes in it like shallow or deep water for shallow or deep water you can say three classes and uh, zero and this can be 0 0.1 and the maximum value these are the land or other features this is the shallow water bodies and these are the major water bodies just like this so in this area uh, these are the mountains and uh, they, they are covered with ice and over here you can see that these are this is also a water body but this is a major water body in this image so you can uh, make a lot of classification according to the research that has been done by a lot of people so I will go with only two classes only two classes and first class will be for other land features and second class is for water bodies just like this so now if I want to extract only the water body from this uh, image so I will again go to the raster calculator and over here I will write a expression a conditional expression so I will write a conditional expression like all those values in this NDWI that are greater than or equal to 0 again close this bracket and now all those values and 
all those values in this NDWI that are less than and equal to uh, the max uh, the maximum value is zero point zero point two six two one six and then close this bracket and over here if this expression is correct then classify all the pixels into one class otherwise if these this expression is wrong then classify all the pixel in zero class and from over here you can assign a, a destination to your raster data set and hit ok so now you can see over here all the water bodies and water pixels are now in one class according to that expression and if you want to calculate the length and other things then you can convert it into a uh, raster to polygon feature from work in raster to polygon etc and if you want to map your ND NDWI then you can again go to its properties and then stretch it just like this okay so you can create a beautiful map of this NDWI and if you want to know that how to create a layout then you can click on top right corner so many thanks take care enough